Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Weekly Horoscope from the 28th of October to the 3rd of November 2018. The 28th of October to the 3rd of November 2018 and this is for you coming from Virgo. Let's start with the 28th of October, Sunday morning, afternoon, not very good for you. You tend to isolate yourself by being arrogant or by being difficult. So you don't want to do that. It's meant to be a wonderful Sunday morning, afternoon period for you. So the last thing you want to do is to isolate yourself. So be friendly, be appreciative, be supportive. That way you're going to win friends, you're going to win support of the family, you're going to have a wonderful morning, afternoon period. Try not to be arrogant in any way whatsoever. And you can do that by simply using words which are soft, a tone of voice which is soft and a body language which is soft. I don't like your, oh I like very much your evening nightfall period. Very fast planets are there on this 20th of October, evening nightfall. And these fast planets are the planets of unexpectedness and they'll bring something unexpectedly good for you. So it depends who you are with. Is it chasing the romance? Is it out with your marriage and my family people? Is it looking for happiness with your ongoing romance? Is it out with the people you work or the people you do business with? Any way possible, the unexpected good luck is waiting to happen. So you've got to keep yourself busy on this evening nightfall period. Dress well, look good, go out and you'll get something or another coming your way, usually very unexpectedly. 29th October, Monday. Too much water in the horoscope. There's a lack of direction. You yourself are very unsure what you want to do. You are emotionally driven and it's going to be a Monday, a working day or a business day. You can't afford to be emotionally driven. Pull yourself back now and then by repeating these three words to yourself, logic, facts and figures. And that brings you back to the reality of business, reality of a job. You will want to think of emotional things for lunch, emotional later, after work. This emotionalness is going to be a problem because you'll be distracted and you may miss out your deadlines and you may make mistakes, whether in business or job. Evening nightfall period, totally business planets are there. That's wonderful. I wish they could be there in the morning, afternoon, you do much better. But they are in the evening nightfall period. One or two of them will come in the morning to help you, but not by much. Anyway, evening nightfall is where you can make the business, help yourself in a job with somebody else able to employ you. Your communication assets, your marketing sense, everything you say and do, others will like to hear. So go ahead and do that. Enjoy yourself, mix business and pleasure and you'll be able to have some kind of good results of a financial kind waiting to happen in your evening nightfall period. Otherwise it may just be a very happy evening nightfall period. Let's go to the 30th October Tuesday which is a very good morning afternoon period for you. There's expansion in the air. You're either going to expand in a job area with promotions or your business may never have an opportunity to expand. So be very busy morning, afternoon period in anything that you do. Some good news wants to come in a big, big way. Make the phone calls, get your appointments going earlier and you will see morning, afternoon of the 30th of October delivering you something really big. Or it could be just friendship that you're looking for, somebody very important. Or if it's the romance you're chasing, it would be a very good one as well. Evening nightfall period, not good at all. Disappointment waits for you. And this disappointment has a lot to do with emotional areas. It can also do with your job areas or business areas. So be careful whoever you are with in the evening nightfall, because that's when trouble can erupt. And this morning afternoon periods, well that, then they will turn to become dominating planets. So you will have a sense of being dominating in the evening nightfall period and the trouble may start because of that. So don't be that. Anyway, if I were you, I would just go home early to avoid things getting very bad. And money will be wasted for nothing. 31st of October, Wednesday starts very nicely for you. Very fast, quick planets are there. So they operate very fast and quickly. You've got to be on your toes as opportunities come left, right, center. But these are short-term planners, so plan everything short-term. But it'll make you very clever. It'll bring a lot of 
interesting ideas for you that come usually very impulsively and you're going to score some very good points with whatever you do on the 31st October Wednesday, whether job, in business, in socializing. Evening nightfall turns very, very nasty. You couldn't get nastier than that. Accidents, whether verbal, whether physical, whether emotional, not feeling well in health areas, getting very bad news in job or business areas, getting into real big fights in one way or another with the people you love or an anywhere else. So big disappointments can take place in the evening nightfall period. Be choosy and comp be choosy in the company you want to keep. If you are in bad company, it will turn worse. Your reputation will also be at stake. So tell yourself the last thing you want to do would be to expose yourself to risk. Go back home if you feel that the company is not worthwhile going to meet. 1st of November, Thursday. Well, you're going to feel very important about yourself. But these planets will make you feel that way are not totally honest with you. They make you do that to isolate you. So at work, don't want to do being arrogant. In business, don't want to feel too important. So be appreciative, be supportive, be flexible, be negotiable. That way you will confuse these planets because they want you to be the opposite. You will confuse these planets and then you will get the better of them and you could meet somebody very important in the morning-afternoon period. Evening nightfall period is brilliant. I wish this could be the morning-afternoon for you, but never mind. Plan whatever important you have to do in the evening nightfall period and you will do it brilliantly with the element of good luck coming your way so, so very much. And you'll be that lucky person, whether for the romance, whether for the marriage, the job, the business, in any area. Go and buy your lottery ticket and you will see that something must happen evening nightfall period which will make you extremely rewarded and very, very much happy. 2nd November Friday. Now, you are being distracted basically in the morning afternoon period. Emotionally distracted because they are emotional planets sidetracked because of issues which are not important and that's one way of missing out on your deadlines in your job or in business by being distracted so that you become careless and make mistakes in your job and your business and you will also be tending to be very emotionally unnecessarily a difficult person with even the people that you love so what do you do stick to facts and figures don't let these emotional dreams and whatever you conjure up take over. Stick to facts and figures in this morning, afternoon, whether at work, whether in business, whether with whoever you are, and you will see that you will have more control over yourself. That's the important part. Evening nightfall period turns really, really bad. So the morning, afternoon, all that, and then evening nightfall turns very bad. So you don't want to be really out with people, but if you have to be, whether it's for the job, whether the business, whether it's with the family, whether it's with the romance. Tell yourself that things can go horribly wrong in the evening nightfall period with a lot to pay. So you don't want to behave emotionally driven because that means you will be out of control. So back to three words, logic, facts and figures. Stick with the facts, be logical and say less and do less. Don't expose yourself to making mistakes and drive very carefully and don't drink too much because you'll be pretty upset in the evening nightfall period. The 3rd November Saturday, I like your morning afternoon very much. Whatever you say and do will be successfully done and you'll be a person to lead, to plan for people and they will love the way you're going to plan and lead. Try not to be dominating however. You will have plenty of good meetings with important people so go and play the round of golf. Go out with people who can help you in business. Chase for the romance you want. Again, I say, just don't be dominating, that's all. Some good news is waiting for you to be coming in a big way because these are planets of expansion. And what do they want to expand? They want to expand everything good about you because they are good planets for you. And they will do that. So it's all up to you to be at the spot in the evening, in the morning, afternoon period. Be in a position on this Saturday where you can meet people who matter and it will work out for you. Evening nightfall is horribly bad. Couldn't be worse. 
So anything that can go wrong in the evening nightfall period will go terribly wrong. Is it the physical accident, the emotional accident, the verbal accident? Be careful what you say and what you do. And you'll have to be careful that whatever happens evening nightfall can have a very bad impact on you because it's you supposed to become the victim. So do you want to expose yourself to risk? Better don't go out. Better to let the time pass. I would do that, play safe, go back home. But if you have to be out, plans already made, tell yourself, say less and do less, merge with the other people, be quiet, don't want to in any way rile up a situation, drive very carefully, don't drink too much. So stay with your senses, stay with control. You need that because a slight thing said or done and there goes the evening nightfall going, turning worse and worse for you. Well, I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 55.0 for a 90-minute Skype session. And during these 90 minutes, I'll talk to you about your next 7, 8 or 9 years. That will be based on your date of birth, your time of birth and looking at your palms. And with all that information I have, I'll be able to get your next 7 or 8 years in all areas. I'll give you your personal luck, lucky lottery numbers based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms. I'll give you plenty of good news, your lucky colors, your lucky directions, your lucky gemstones, your lucky days, all more information so that you can put yourself in charge in the next seven, eight years. And that would definitely be putting you in the road to success and happiness. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, send me a message and I'll come back to you as soon as possible and let's get this 90 minute on just for USD 50 bucks. You'll have your next seven or eight years as you will know them, which means you can be prepared for them. Until then, thank you and good luck.